Let's work through some examples of the horizontal shift on the exponential function. Please pause the video and try questions 1 and 2 and then you can check your answers from the video. Number 1. Sketch the graph of f of x equals 3 to the power x minus 1 plus 2. Show the position of the asymptote, any intercepts with the axes and one other coordinate on the graph. When you're sketching a graph, it is often helpful if you start off by, in your mind's eye, just thinking about what that graph is going to look like. So we know from the equation that the Q value tells us the position of the horizontal asymptote of the exponential graph. So we know that by the time we finish sketching this graph, we are going to have a horizontal asymptote through 2. If we take a look at the coefficient of the exponential part of this equation, it has a coefficient of positive 1. And that means that it's going to lie above the asymptote. If it had a negative coefficient, it would lie below the asymptote. And if we take a look at the base, the base is a number that is larger than 1. So that means that it is going to be an increasing graph. So it's going to be an increasing graph that lies above the asymptote. And the shape of an exponential graph is more or less like that. Okay, so we can see from that sketch that there's going to be no value in calculating an x-intercept because the graph doesn't cut the x-axis. So we are going to start by finding the y-intercept by letting x equal to 0. That gives us 3 to the power of 0 minus 1 plus 2, which is a third plus 2, which is 7 thirds. So that means that our y-intercept is going to be at 0 and 7 over 3. So if we sketch the, the value, so if we sketch ourselves a set of axes, x and y, the position of our asymptote through positive 2 on the y-axis, 7 over 3 is 2 and a third, so that will be the, um, the position over there, which will be uh, a two-thirds, that's where it will cut the y-axis. And now we need the coordinates of at least one other point on the graph. So if we find the y-value when x is equal to 1, that will be 3 to the power of 1 minus 1 plus 2. That's 1 plus 2, which is 3. So at 1, you will have a y-value of positive 3. And if we now sketch the graph, it will look like that. And that is the graph of f. Question 2. Determine the equation of the following. f of x is equal to negative 2 to the power of x minus p plus q. We know that the q value is the asymptote, and in this case the asymptote is at y equals negative 3. So we can already substitute in the value of negative 3 in place of q. In order to solve for p, we can use the other coordinate that was given on the graph, which was 0 and negative 5. We replace y with negative 5 and x with 0. Add 3 to both sides. And we can now multiply both sides by negative 1 to get rid of the negative coefficient. And 0 subtract p is negative p. The bases are the same, so therefore we can conclude that the exponents are equal. So therefore p is negative 1. So your equation will be f of x is equal to negative 2 to the power of x plus 1, because it's minus a negative 1, minus 3.